cue the shameless Peter McKinnon intro. But what's up dudes and dudettes? It is CE Tech Dude here today. Today's a very exciting day, very exciting. I have my Galaxy S9 Plus that came in today. Gonna be unboxing that, but first, I'm gonna do a lighting change. I got some new studio lighting. I wanna show you what it looks like. Uh, right now, I'm under my usual lighting, which isn't very good, it's just an overhead lamp and overhead ceiling fan and a lamp on the side. Mixed colors, I don't like it. So I got some studio lighting from Amazon to make this video a little better. It's Limo Studio lighting. Uh, pretty pretty inexpensive, $66, something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that. Let's see how it goes, here we go. All right guys, I am back. Look at this beautiful lighting. Um, to quote Anchorman, I love lamp and I love these lamps, they're pretty awesome. So, on the main attraction guys, we have the Galaxy S9 Plus in hand right here, fresh off the delivery truck, ready for us to unbox, explore. I'm gonna switch my SIM card to it. It was a really good deal on, from Samsung. After I have an S7 Active, I've traded in. Uh, pretty good deal, less than $600, which I know isn't super cheap, but that's gonna be reimbursed a little bit by my work, so it's not as bad. But I just wanna bring it to you guys, uh, show you the latest and greatest technology. So here we go, let's get to, get to unboxing. Bye bye sleeve, all right. So first off, let's open the box. And we have instructions, we have an ejector SIM removal tool. Very nice, thanks Samsung. And on the inside we have the Galaxy S9 Plus. There it is in all its black beauty, black beauty, like the horse. And very nice. I'm going to take off the back yeah. sticker. Can't wait to get some fingerprint, sim fingerprint smudges on this from using it because it's going to be my daily driver after this video. On the front, you have that 6.2 question mark inch display. I'm pretty sure it's 6.2. Doesn't feel that big though, honestly. Hello? Yes, this phone is perfect size. Thank you for asking. Yes, uh, very nice size phone, I think. I've got big hands. Hello. But yeah, pretty cool. On the bottom, USB-C headphone jack, sweet. Love the headphone jacks. I have lived without it. I've had the Moto Z2 Force and it wasn't that bad. I, had, I bought two uh, USB-C to headphone adapters, which helped, but I still prefer to have the headphone jack just in case I'm lounging on my couch, have some headphones next to me, don't want to disturb my wife or somebody else in the house, and yeah, headphone jacks, put them in the phones, manufacturers, come on, it's not that expensive, I, I, I know it's not. On the side, you have volume buttons, the Bixby button, yay, yay Bixby. I really honestly haven't used it much. I did have an S8 before, I disabled it though because I heard a lot of bad reviews about it. I'm gonna give it a chance this time because I'm gonna bring a full review to you guys later this month, hopefully not too long, but I do have a day job, so it takes a little while longer. Uh, but I'm gonna try the Bixby button. On this other side, you have the power button. On the back, you have that sweet dual aperture main camera. Below that, you have a telephoto lens for zooming in, zooming out. Fingerprint sensor finally in a decent spot. Yay, thanks, Samsung. Uh, able to reach it now easily, you know. On my S8, I had a case, so it was a little easy to find, but I just didn't like the placement. So they fixed that, which is awesome. Can't wait to try that out. On the top, you have the SIM card slot and SD card slot. Thumbs up, love the expandable storage. Um, so, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this bad boy up. I'm not gonna make you watch all this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go through the setup process and get to the home screen. So I'll be back in a, you know, be back. Oh yeah, uh, before I get to the home screen, uh, I want to go through what's in the rest of the box. Uh, it's the standard affair. You got the USB transfer data adapter. You have a turbocharger. Cool. You have some AKG headphones in the box, which actually look pretty nice. Got that braided cabling on there. That's pretty cool. Then you have a USB-C cable for charging. But this does also have wireless charging built in, which I'll be utilizing, so. But I like to have choices. I love choices. And then you have some earbud, different size earbuds in case you have weird ears like mine, you can, uh, you can adjust them to your liking. So thanks, Samsung. Okay, and I'm gonna set this phone up 
and take you to the home screen. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm to the home screen and there it is, Galaxy S9 Plus. Gonna go ahead and take off the screen protector because I like to live dangerously. Even though I do have some screen protectors on order from Extreme Guard, I will be reviewing those. They're not glass, so I just wanna try them out. But to the home screen, got that big, beautiful display. Uh, Samsung makes the best display. My Moto Z2 Force that I was mentioning earlier has an AMOLED display, but there's just something about the Samsung displays that are just beautiful. I mean, they've got the technology down. Uh, so that's got that beautiful display on there. Uh, on the side, you have the Bixby button. Push that and it launches Bixby. There it is, hello Bixby. Uh, I don't have it connected to Wi-Fi, so I'm not gonna play with that right now, but I do wanna try out the dual aperture camera. That's what I'm most excited for about this phone. That's why I, I when I saw it, I was like, I have to have that because I love dual apertures. If you don't know what dual aperture is, basically when you have a lower aperture number, this has an f1.5, I believe is the lowest, the lens opens wider. So it lets more light in, great for low light shots. Defaults to a 2.4 aperture, which means the lens is a little bit, a little bit tighter, doesn't let as much light in, but it's great for uh, decent lighting shots. So either way, you're gonna get a great shot with this, cam with this phone, so I'm excited. And you also have the Super slow mo, 960, I believe, FPS slow mo. Yes, can't wait to do some cool shots with those and share them with you guys because I like to do neat things and then share them with you. So I'm gonna try that out. But guys, that's really all I wanna do is unbox this for you. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining to you. If not, I'm sorry, but I wanted to unbox it. I wanted to show off this new sweet lighting. Gonna be using this in my videos going forward because they look much better than what I had before. And I'm all about bringing you quality content. That's right. Q U A L T content. I don't know why I just spelled that, but I'm going to bring it to you. Can't wait to show you more videos in the future. I think you're going to like them. Got some cool reviews coming. Uh, also, going to review this phone after using it for a while. Oh, yeah. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go get my case for it. I'll be back in a flash again. Be right back. Speed Force. <sighs> And I'm back, guys. So, I did get a, sorry, I ran super fast because I'm really fast and I'm out of breath. That's pretty sad, but when you get old, you get out of breath. So, here we go. Uh, soup case, unicorn beetle case for the S9 Plus. This was super cheap from Amazon, $4, I think, because there's a coupon code for pre-ordering. So I got the case. Normally, I wouldn't, I would use the case, use the phone without a case, but this phone's fragile, guys. It's uh, all glass, and I don't want to risk an expensive phone being dropped. You know, I'm not, I'm not Jerry Rig everything. I'm not Tech Racks. I'm CE Tech Dude. That's right, CE Tech Dude. So, gonna put the case on. This case looks pretty nice. Nice feeling material. Has drop protection. Uh, sides are thicker, so if it falls on the side of the phone, it won't shatter. Hopefully, that's the that's the goal. So, gonna throw that on there. Uh, you lose a little looks, but this phone case, guys, looks pretty nice, I think. I mean, I'd rather have it naked, but, you know. But yeah, I uh, really like this case, guys. I really think it looks pretty sharp. So guys, that is it. Uh, I'm gonna be using this thing. I'm super excited. I wish I could give this away, but I can't. Um, I do wanna do more giveaways in the future. When I get bigger as a YouTuber, hopefully I will, I'm gonna do some really cool giveaways, because I like giving stuff away. I like, I like giving, I like getting things, I like winning things, so I'd assume you do too. So guys, uh, gonna use this phone for a while, gonna review it for you soon, when I have time, gonna try to do it real soon, but all right guys, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you, look, if you liked it, leave a like, stomp that like. Don't just leave a like, stomp it, smash it, slap it around, just click that like button, guys. If you loved it, please subscribe. Please invite your friends, I'm trying to get those subscribers up so I can bring you more cool content, more giveaways. And guys, one final note, you just got CE Tech. Have a great day.
I look actually like a real human being, which I'm totally am, not a robot.